So yes, I was wrong. Moana 2 is actually a pretty damn good sequel. And I say this as someone who liked the trailers, kind of found them breathtaking, but always had in the back of my head. Well, wasn't this supposed to be a Disney Plus series? Yeah, I know. They announced and said, no, we planned this from the beginning. But Disney, we all know. You've done this before with a ton of your video on demand Disney sequels that came out in the early 2000s and the late 1990s. So through countless different ones, and while they were good, charming, sometimes even terrible, stigma, that PTSD, that Moana 2 is just going to be one of those films that should have stayed on Disney Plus or gone video on demand. And God, I was wrong. I was wrong in so many ways. I cannot believe how much I like this movie. I think in some regards, Moana 2 will end up being the Toy Story 2 for this generation of kids. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Moana 2. Now, this time, Pua goes on the adventure, but realistically, after receiving an unexpected call from her wayfinding ancestors, Moana must journey to the far seas of Oceana and into dangerous and long-lost waters for an adventure unlike anything she's ever faced. Now, this is directed by David Derrick Jr., Jason Hand, Dana Miller, and it also stars Everyone's Back. Everyone's back except Lin-Manuel Miranda, which a lot of people are probably going to be talking about how the music doesn't feel as great. It definitely doesn't feel like Lin-Manuel Miranda. It never feels like they're trying to carbon copy it, though, which I will, like, give a major shout out to. They definitely did different things. There's still some, like, rap stuff in there, but it never feels like, oh, we're just trying to copy Lin-Manuel Miranda instead of just having him here. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Definitely leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoy movie content like this. And without further ado, let's start talking about this movie. So as I said in my intro, I wasn't too excited for this movie and I found myself being pretty wrong about it. I still have some issues about it, which we'll talk about, but I think as a sequel to a film that I think only grows on rewatches, like I would say Moana is a true classic now, specifically in the Disney ecosphere. And I think it actually blows my mind that like they waited this long to make something at Moana. So the reason that they did is because it's literally the most streamed movie like almost ever, I feel like. That original Moana film just had such charm to it that I remember when I first watched it, I really liked it, but I didn't love it initially. And then I went and saw it again, and I liked it even more, and it just continued to grow and grow and grow. And being in the household we are where this is one of my wife's favorite Disney films, it's always playing. And I just kept watching it and kept watching it where if you did that with Frozen, when I used to babysit kids, they would always want to watch Frozen. And I hate Frozen now. Well, no. Hate is a strong word. I still like Frozen, but definitely don't like it as much because of how many times I had to rewatch it. But Moana became one of those movies that was easily rewatchable, easily digestive, but also just emotional and fun. And it, again, became a five out of five for me. It just grew on me immensely that I just kept sitting there like, why have we not gotten a sequel? And then they announced this thing and I'm sitting here and, it, and it's great because of the story that they decided to tell. And I think in a time and age of where we're living in society now, we need films where it's about people coming together under the most utmost and terrible situations. No matter it's what family life you're living in, what friendships you have, whatever's going on in your ecosphere, to be reminded that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to bring friends in even if maybe they're not going to be the best at first at something. And for me, watching what Moana 2 was able to do with a dynamic like that really made me a little bit emotional, and it just made me excited to talk about it. So for me, the story here is overall solid. It does start slow, but by the middle point, when it like hones in on that direct thing, I was so locked in. And then the back half. Like, I found the third act to be beautiful and epic. Like, honestly, like, out of a lot of these Disney animated films, the third act is epic beyond belief. It's stunning. And again, it just hones in that theme so much more that I just sat there like, wow, that's awesome. And it is a really fantastic third act i would almost go as far as say i might prefer the third act of this one to the first moana film but i still prefer the first moana film overall at least as of right now we'll see how rewatches go on moana 2 
I might be the underlier. I might be the person saying in a couple of years, Moana 2 is better than the original. But again, time will only tell on that type of factor. Alongside this, I think the entire cast is amazing. Of course, Alaya, who plays Moana, which I'm probably mispronouncing, I apologize, is phenomenal. Her voice is incredible. I'm so happy they brought her back. Same thing with Dwayne Johnson. I think he just rocks it as Maui. As I was watching this, like I just... I see both of them and I'm like, these are two characters that will stand the test of time when it comes down to Disney animated films and Disney characters and their representation at Disney parks and especially in the Disney ecosphere. I just think their dynamics is great. And specifically what was built off on the original, I think seeing where Maui is now in his life and specifically what has gone on in his life. I think is actually one of the strongest parts. Same thing with Moana, which again goes to their voice acting and their performance and specifically what they're bringing to the picture. But I just really love that. I think also the rest of the cast is just solid like everyone you would expect to. But what comes along this time around is actually some side characters. Moana's not just going on an adventure with Maui, Pua, and the chicken, Hey Hey. No, it's actually like three other characters that for the most part, like we'll talk a little bit more about in my issues, I still thought they were charming enough to where like, oh, I liked them, but would I care if they went on another adventure with Moana? Probably not. I don't think they're memorable side characters to the biggest degree, but they were fun for what it is, and I think they did bring a cool dynamic, and it was cool to see Moana have like this crew of some sorts, and I'm not sure what the trailers like deliberately showed, but there is one character that joins the crew that doesn't talk, but is awesome. And I want a plush or a figure of him somewhere in this room. He's just so cool. Like, why is there not a popcorn bucket about that guy? May have just given away what, I've, what I'm talking about. But still, when you see the movie, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. He's awesome. I loved it. I loved him so much. Inside that, I also want to talk about the animation. Again, I talked about the third act and how beautiful it was. But I think the animation here is just as stunning as the original one. I think in some ways, it's even a little bit more colorful. I think the first one looks really realistic in terms of the ocean and the sea, and I like what they kind of did a little bit more of the fantasy element of this. There's a new character also in here that has a really good song in the midpoint of the film that I think just kind of won me over, but her animation and everything to her character was just very unique. Specifically, even the villain of this entire film, beautifully animated. Really liked what they did there. Brings me down to the songs, which I think... For the most part, because like in the original Moana, I loved every single song except the stupid crab one. I just I know there might be fans of it. I'm not a fan of that one. I think it that, that's like my one only issue with that movie. I still it's whatever, but it's my only issue with that movie. A dumb song. I will say none of the songs annoyed me like the crab one. I found all of them to be just consistently good across the board. Nothing that like sticks in my head, like me humming it or being able to like sing it deliberately, but I think they're solid. And I think what this reminded me of, and again, I might be in the minority on this, Frozen 2, a film that I think is better than the original one, but same thing with those songs, I don't think they're as memorable as the original one. But for some reason, they're just more consistent across the board. And I think the sequences that they're played out in are more memorable, which is kind of something that I relate to with Moana too. After talking about all the pros, let's talk about some of my issues and mixed aspects. Now, I talked about some of the secondary characters, which don't really get a lot to do. They're very one dimensional, but they're fun. They're enjoyable. I'm happy Moana got this crew. I just wish they did a little bit more with them, which if this was originally supposed to be a TV series, I can imagine that they probably had a bigger place to stake at which speaking about the episodic stuff midway through the film i would say the first half is slower than the back half mostly because it does feel like the first half i can tell when the episodes were supposed to break it feels like oh this probably could have been a good 25 minute episode oh this probably could have also been a good 25 minute episodes and it feels like it's just the episodes are more condensed where there could have been more dimensional and how big and grand the story is it kind of feels like either the film should have been a little bit longer, which I actually would not have been opposed to. I'm okay with an animated film being two hours. Spider-Verse was two hours, guys, or over it. It's the second one. I know the first one wasn't. But alongside that, I also wouldn't have been that. I think it would have developed a little bit more of all the characters, the dynamics, and everything kind of going around. And I think that episodic feel does kind of hurt the pacing of the movie at first. That is the biggest criticism I have for this movie is how episodic it definitely felt in the first half as well as Maui isn't as in this movie as much yeah he's in the movie he comes in about the first 20 minutes but no spoilers but him and Moana really don't meet until also the midpoint 
which for me was kind of a bummer. I feel like Maui should have started initially with them from the start. And I feel like that would have maybe helped the pacing also a bit more too, just to see where their dynamic goes. But when he does come in, you can completely feel the film shift completely into a fantastic realm. And that's where I was really happy with. I think the mixed aspects will be the song. Some people will like them. Some people will just think they're whatever. I liked them overall. Where it just takes me down to is that Moana 2 surprised me. I was wrong about it. It's a beautiful and triumphant sequel that starts a bit slow, but slowly grows into an epic adventure that truly won me over by the end. The third act I found quite amazing in terms of scale and emotion. And again, the songs are good, but they're maybe not as good as the original one i'm shocked i felt this way though as i had ptsd that this was announced in replacing the disney plus series some elements still feel a little bit episodic but the emotion and charm of bringing people together the theme of that ties moana perfectly from the first one and i really think if they do decide to do a third one which i would be shocked if they're not already working on it i really think they have something special here and as I mentioned in my intro, I think Moana 2 will end up becoming like the Toy Story 2 of this kid's generation. It's Toy Story 2, and the reason it is is because that's the film I grew up with. It felt bigger in scale than everything else, specifically the adventure they went on, even though I know it has its issues, and I feel like Moana 2 kind of feels the same way. So with all that said, I'm going to give Moana 2 a B+. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.